Hi friends, we're back in our garden and we are hunting bugs again. So the goldenrod has come in. Well, how beautiful. No bugs yet though. It's too cool today. It's 71 in Chicago. Regular old little bee fly. But you know what we're gonna find? It's a caterpillar. We already saw him. He's right here. See that? It's a beautiful swallowtail caterpillar. See those lovely yellow markings on him? He's so beautiful. So let me grab a little stone just to hold this down so I can show you a couple cool things about the caterpillar. The swallowtail caterpillar has all those little teeny, teeny, tiny legs underneath him and they are sticky. That's how he holds on to the dillweed. I'm gonna grab a little piece of grass here. See him right there? He has those little bottom bits right there sticking. Those are his legs. We're gonna let that plane pass. Now the other really cool thing about the caterpillar, specifically the swallowtail caterpillar, are you ready to see something super cool that they use as self-defense? Whoops. All right, don't blink because you're gonna miss it. Gonna grab a little piece of dill right here that little dill stem. Here we go, ready? He's gonna think I'm a big bird swooping in to eat him. Watch what his special defense is. Can you guess? Can you guess what he's gonna do? He thinks I'm a bird. Oh, <gasps> did you see it? Do you see it? He's picking up his front, his front claws. Oh, you see his horns? He's fighting me. He's giving me a hard time. Wow, do you see that horn spike up? And that is the swallowtail's special defense. He has those horns that come right on out of his, the tip of his head. There they are. And they're sinking back in between the folds of his, of his skin. Isn't that amazing? Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time and see what he does. He knows he's under attack. Oh, oh, there they go. He's kind of fight me. There he is fighting me. So I'm being very gentle. We're gonna leave this caterpillar alone, but there you go. And we'll watch them retract again. He's gonna go back about his day. Probably gonna eat a little. So we're gonna put him right back here where he was. Nice and safe on the dillweed. So that is part of the self-defense of the swallowtail caterpillar. He has horns that come right on out and orange or red is what a poison color looks like in nature. And so insects don't bother each other when they see that color. We're gonna show you one more insect. Do you know what other insect has a natural self-defense? Let's see if we could find one here. Usually the ladybugs are here hiding out and ladybugs are red and orange and ladybugs have that natural red color that birds do not like. I don't see any here today. Oh, here's another dillweed. I wonder if we have more caterpillars on this one. I actually don't see any. I think the dillweed is planted too close together. I don't see any caterpillars or larvae here. This is our brand new sunflower plant. You can see all these yellow, beautiful flowers. There's a little sunflower. These big, beautiful yellow flowers have come up. This has a couple of little See those little black spots right here? Oh, see them flying around there? There's little insects on this one. Nothing too big. 
It's about 71 degrees today, so guess what? Not many insects are out. It's too chilly for them. They're either already hiding in their homes underground or flying up high in the heavens for the night. They fly up to the sky sometimes, certain species. And they just stay up there until a new day starts. So we're going to head in the house, make some dinner. There's some ants. I did not find, oh my gosh. Look what's happening on this sunflower. Do you know what those are? Those are bees. I've never ever seen this. Those are all little bees and they look like they're hibernating in this flower. Can you see them there? They're all hibernating. That's amazing. I've never seen this before. Never, never, never. This is the first time. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Look at them. They are all just sort of, I'm gonna clean my, my camera lens a little. This is amazing. I've never seen this. Look at them. Perfectly colored to match. It's definitely cold out. So they're not flying around, retaining their heat, resting in the plant. I don't think they, they didn't come out of egg larva here. I think they're just resting and staying warm. Well, that is amazing. I've never seen this in my garden before. This is really a cool find. We're definitely gonna grow this plant next year. <laughs> I don't see them anywhere else. No other bees gathering anywhere. Oh, 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 this one. Those look like little bee legs right here, but they're not. They're just part of the, part of the flower. That is really fascinating. I can't believe we found that. Let's go back and look one more time. I know the urge is to shake it, but we're not gonna shake it. They're cold and they're resting and we're gonna let them rest. But they look like a natural part of the plant, don't they? No bird is gonna go in there and eat them. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. There's a nice little spider. Do you see him hanging out? Oh, I'm just gently moving the plant around. He's going inside also for the night, or she. There's one flower that will open up tomorrow. Looks like it's giving a little kiss, doesn't it? Mwah. All right, friends, that was a really cool discovery today. The one red ladybug we're hunting for is gone. I think Mr. Caterpillar is probably still resting over there. I don't see any other insects, just a couple flies. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed our evening walk through the garden looking for insects. Nothing here on this weed. There's definitely a cricket here. You can hear the cicadas too. What a wonderful find today. A horned swallowtail and the bees. Looking around here if there's anything else that's worth exploring. This is our little daisy. I don't think she has any insects on her. Nothing as spectacular as those bees hibernating. This is a weed that just will not die. I have cut it many times. It keeps coming back. These are our new dahlias they finally took. Our hydrangea needs to be trimmed a little. And the hydrangea, which is usually very busy with insects. It's a sleepy day for them because it's cold. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great night.